Good morning, family, and welcome to today's Lesson for Life. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, 2009, and today we're reading in Nehemiah chapter 9. As always, I encourage you to read these chapters through for yourself, see what you get from it, email us, and we'll put it on the blog. Uh, the chapter has quite a, quite a few different things that we can get from it, uh, and I'm going to bring up one for Lessons for Life, so uh, really I encourage you to read these for yourself uh, so you can find out what you get for it from, your, for, from it for yourself. Um, and as we read this chapter, you see that uh, the Levites and them, they, they uh, gather the, the people together and they're um, really praying to God and they want to actually establish <coughs> or reestablish the covenant with the Lord because um, they realize that they're in a, a, a bad spot or a bad situation. They're subject, they're servants to um, people now and they know, you know, they even go back over the history of how the Lord established covenant with Abraham and uh, you know, even towards the end where it talks about, you know, we want uh, to to reestablish this covenant and we write it down and we've spoken about that, I believe. I know it's definitely a lesson you get from that just from uh, writing it down to making it more uh, concrete when you write something down. Even if you have a, a, a something that you want to do and you write it down, it kind of just uh, takes it out of that um, realm of uh, thought and it puts it it's the first step of uh, manifesting it and putting it into a, a, a physical form by at least writing it down and that was what they did even with this covenant but uh, what I also wanted to mention from this uh, was really just how they went back over the history of how everything started even from Abraham and they were going down the, the, the line of how the Lord has been with them how the Lord has delivered them and brought them out of various different situations and just how the Lord's been, you know, gracious and mercy, even when they was um, do, not doing right. It says one part where it says where He gave them rest, and they still turned to do their evil, uh, wicked ways. And we spoke about that before about um, when the Lord gave them rest because they were obedient. But it wasn't that they were supposed to then not do anything, but they were actually supposed to now start doing uh, the work of the Lord. Uh, but what I actually want to bring up for Lesson Five is just like I said, going over the history of what they were talking about. And that history was um, able to help them presently to remember all the things that the Lord has did for their people throughout, you know, throughout all since Abraham. And that's, you know, now we're talking, this is many, 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 many generations ago. And I'm thinking about uh, us today and the history that we have and a lot of the history, uh, even I remember going back to school and we took uh, what they call African American history which is actually not the correct terminology but we took that course and it really just started from you know slavery time and that was you know that's not that long ago but what was the history of our people before then and you know what stories can we um, look back to and reference to even as we see these uh, them doing this chapter what stories can we re reference to to see how the Lord has brought our people out and deliver our people so we need to be uh, you know you don't you don't want to just stay in history, but you want to be able to learn from history and get accurate history, actually. Get accurate history of especially where you came from, and not just your you know, grandparents or even great-grandparents, but even before then. Because we've been around since a long, 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 long time ago. Not just, you know, not just at the beginning of slavery, but before then. So it's important for us to um, do research, look and see the, our, the history of our people. Um, and understand where we came from so that and when you have a, a better understanding as we even see with in this chapter as you have a better understanding of where you came from how the Lord brought you out of these different situations you actually have a better feel for how the Lord can help you even today and how the Lord can um, provide for you and how you can count on the Lord just like how they did back in the days too so I don't want us to forget our history do uh, homework do research find out more about your history where we came from and uh, that's what I got as a lesson for life because like I said they were able to use this information that they had you know from many many uh, generations ago and um, you know kind of get back on track of where they know they should be so for us we need to at least first find the history of where find our history and then move from there so uh, with that that is today's lesson for life create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today and we'll talk again tomorrow